The pre-Nuragic period refers to the prehistory of Sardinia from the Paleolithic till the Middle Bronze Age, when the Nuragic civilization flourished on the island. Topic: <laughs> Paleolithic. The discovery of Paleolithic lithic workshops indicate a human presence in Sardinia in the period between 450,000 and 10,000 years ago. According to the researchers, an hominid nicknamed Nur was the first to colonize the current territory of the island about 250,000 years ago, in the Lower Paleolithic. Based on studies of a phalanx found in the Nurag caves of Cherimule, the researchers supposed that he may have been a pre Neanderthal, but some have expressed doubts, assuming a morphological distance from hominids. During the last Ice Age, sea levels were lower than 130 meters. At that time, Sardinia and Corsica formed a single large island, separated from Tuscany only by a narrow arm of sea. The oldest remains of Homo sapiens in Sardinia date back to the Upper Paleolithic. Their tracks have been found in the central part of Sardinia in the Corbedu Cave of Oliena. Topic: <laughs> Mesolithic. Mesolithic human remains have been found at the Su Kulleru Cave of Leru in northern Sardinia, Anglona. The material culture suggests that these people came in Sardinia from the Italian peninsula after a difficult navigation with rudimentary boats. The oldest complete human skeleton, renamed Amsicora, was found in 2011 in the territory of Arbus. It dates back to about 9,000 years ago, the period of transition between the Mesolithic and the Neolithic. Topic: <laughs> Neolithic. Topic. Su Karapu culture The culture of Su Karapu represents the earliest phase of the Neolithic in Sardinia 6th millennium BC. Since 1968, the excavations carried out by archaeologists Enrico Atzani and Gerard Bailud in a rock shelter on the limestone hills in the territory of Siri called Su Karapu found various coarse ceramics of a black-gray color decorated with the imprint of Sarastoderma edul along with tools made of obsidian from the Monte Arci. There were also found the remains of ancient meals, with the discovery of bones of animals such as deer, Prolagus sardis, wild boar, thus documenting an economy based on farming, hunting and fishing. The presence of two human skeletons, along with ornaments made of shells, according to the researchers witnessed the customs of burial cave. The culture of Su Karapu has correspondence in Corsica, the Italian peninsula and the Iberian peninsula, but especially the findings in Sardinia and Corsica confirm the key role of these two islands to understanding the neolithization of the northwest Mediterranean Sea. <laughs> Grotta Verde culture The Grotta Verde culture is named after a cave located at Capo Caccia near Alghero, where in 1979, important findings had been made. It is dated back to the second phase of the early Neolithic in the mid-5th millennium BC. This culture was present in the northwest part of Sardinia and was characterized by the production of refined pottery, decorated with a toothed tool, on a vase found in the cave, the handles depicted, in a stylized manner, human heads with small nose, eyes and mouth played. According to archaeologist Giovanni Liliu, this would be the first anthropomorphic representation of Sardinian prehistory. On a wall inside the cave were also found particular graffiti, another singular testimony of these people. Filiestru <inaudible> <inaudible> culture In 1971 the priest and caver Renato Loria found in the territory of Mara, between Villanova Monteleone and Bosa, a ravine of about 60 square metres. The cave was subsequently investigated by archaeologists V. R. Switzer and David H. Trump. They discovered a series of different cultures that embraced in a very long period of time. The oldest has been dated to the late 5th millennium BC. Findings show that this culture was developed by people dedicated to agriculture, husbandry, hunting, and fishing. The researchers noted the almost complete disappearance of the earlier forms of pottery decoration and the appearance of big greenstone rings, also common in Corsica and the Italian peninsula. These findings lead the researchers to argue that during that period the Sardinian populations had close trade relations with the Mediterranean Neolithic communities of southern France, the Iberian Peninsula, the Italian Peninsula and Sicily. 
Banu Ainu culture The Banu Ainu culture prevailed from 4000 BC up to 3400 BC. It takes its name from the Sanctuary of Our Lady of Banu Ainu. Good neighbor. In Sardinian language, in the municipality of Mara, near which is the Cave of Detentoriolu, a place in which were discovered a considerable amount of pottery with zoomorphic and anthropomorphic handles. It spread widely throughout most of the island, and one of the most important villages was that of Puisteris in Mogoro. It is regarded by archaeologists as the first culture in Sardinia using artificial cavities as graves and as the natural evolution of the previous Filiestru culture, whose cave is located in the same area. The artifacts related to the village and necropolis of Kukuru Sirius show a well organized society. At this site, there have been numerous discoveries of female figurines depicting the so called Mother Goddess whose postulated worship was widespread in much of Europe and in the Mediterranean during the Neolithic, represented in many different ways, standing, sitting, or while breastfeeding. The site, Kukuru Sirius, is indicated by many scholars belonging to the culture of San Siriaco. Topic. San Siriaco culture The San Siriaco culture BC characterizes the end of the Middle Neolithic. It is regarded by archaeologists as a cultural link between the Bonuihinu and the Otsieri and is currently undergoing an exact definition. It takes its name from the Church of St. Syriacus of Taralba, a municipality in the province of Aristano, near which was found a prehistoric village full of evidences. During this phase were built the first Domus de Janus, a type of hypogean tomb that will spread throughout the island, with the exception of Galora. <laughs> Arzashena culture The Arzashena culture interested mainly the Galora region and some other eastern parts of the island with ramifications also in southern Corsica, for this reason it is also referred as Corsican Galori's cultural aspect. The large, circular graves of Galora mark the debut of the megalithism in Sardinia, one of the oldest in the western Mediterranean. The grave goods included items such as refined cups of soapstone, knives of flint, small triangular hatchets of stone, and necklace of green soapstone. Otsieri culture The Otsieri culture BC, also known as the culture of St. Michael, is named after the homonymous cave in the municipality of Otsieri where were found important evidences. In fact, in that site were found finely crafted vases, elegantly decorated with geometric designs incised on clay and painted with red ochre. The older are round in shape and just finished, while those of a later period are highly stylized and more refined. Scholars consider this type of pottery as new to the Neolithic Sardinia and until then similar artifacts were considered as typical of the Cyclades Islands and Crete. As a result of significant trade with those distant islands, new manufacturing techniques, new knowledge in metallurgy and new lifestyles appeared in Sardinia. These findings demonstrated unequivocally the strong cultural and commercial exchange elapsed between the Sardinians' pre-Neuragic peoples and Neolithic Greece. Based on these important findings scholars agree in defining the culture of Otsieri as the first great culture of Sardinia. <laughs> Chalcolithic <laughs> Sub-Otsieri culture The sub Otsieri culture, also called Red Otsieri, dated between 2850 and 2700 BC, is a continuation, particularly in the central and southern part of Sardinia, of the previous phase of the late Neolithic. Obsidian is now rarely used while metallurgy of copper and silver began to spread. Abilzu Filigosa culture The first place is at Osilo, the second at Makamur. 
This culture developed between 2700 and 2400 BC and was limited to about a dozen sites located in the area of Sassari and a few other in south central Sardinia. These populations deified their ancestors with the erection of the statue Menhir, mainly located in the central western Sardinia, and built or restored the large megalithic temple of Monte Dacati, near Sassari, most likely dedicated to the sun god. Grave goods included weapons such as daggers of copper, stone hammer axes and arrowheads of obsidian. Abelzu pottery show similarities with those of the Rinaldone culture. Monte Claro culture The Monte Claro culture spread throughout the island between 2400 and 2100 BC. The main innovations are the oven-shaped tombs, individual graves that appeared in the colliery area, and the great megalithic walls of the central northern part of the island like that of Monte Baranta. Near Olmedo, the ceramics show eastern influences in the south and from the Fontbus culture southern France in the north. <laughs> Beaker culture The beaker culture originated from outside the island, its populations mixed with people of the preceding indigenous cultures. It was diffused mainly along the west coast and the adjacent lowlands while finds in the east coast are scarce and concentrated mainly near Dorgali. They are identifiable by the manufacturers of refined pottery, and by the use of stone wrist guard, daggers of copper, bracelets, rings and necklaces of shells or tusks of animals. For the first time gold items appeared in island tomb of Bingia e Monte, Ganostromatza. The beaker culture in Sardinia was divided in three phases. The older phase 2000 BC with strong Iberian and Provençal influences. A second phase 2000 to 1900 BC in which appear obvious influences from Central Europe. A third phase 1900 to 1800 BC documented in the sites of Lu Marineru and Padru Jasu, undecorated beaker. Topic: <inaudible> Early Bronze Age. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Bonanaro culture. In 1800 BC, the Bonanaro culture, a regionalization of the previous beaker culture with influences from the Palata culture of northern Italy, spread throughout the island. They probably erected the first protonuragi or pseudonuragi, but they are few in number compared to the total number of buildings. These protonuragi constitute of a base with a corridor and a staircase to access the terrace. Topic References. Topic Literature. Atsini E, La Prehistoria del Sulcais Iglesiente, Double A, VV, Iglesias. Storia e Socetta, Iglesias, 1987. Double A, VV, Carbonia e il Sulcais. Archaeologia e Territorio, Acura di V. Santoni, Aristano, 1995. Double A, VV, Ignusa. La Sardegna dalle origini alleda classica, Milano, 1981. Double A, VV. La Civilta in Sardegna nei Sicoli, Torino, Edizioni Ari. Barreca F., L'esplorazione topografica della regione Sulcitana, Monte Sarai 3, 1966. Brigalia M., Mestino A., Ortu G. Storia della Sardegna 1. Dalle origini al Settecento, Bari, 2006. Casula F.C., La Storia di Sardegna, Sassari 1994. Contu e, Monte Dacati, Sassari. Problematiche di studio e di ricerca di un singolare monumento preistorico deja conference, Bar, S. 288. Oxford, 1984. Liliu G, La civilta dei sardi dal neolitico alleda dei nuraghi. Torino, Edizioni Ari 1967. Liliu G, Sculture della Sardegna Nuragica Verona 1962. Lo Schiavo F., Lusai, Testimonians Culturali di Ada Nuragica, La Grata Perosu in Localita su Benatsu di Santadi Sirigu R., Archaeologia Prehistorica e Protistorica della Sardegna. Introduzioni allo Studio, Colliery, CUEC, 2009.
Tyne S. Monte Dacati 10 Anni di Nuovi Scavi. Cesari 1992. Ugas G., L'Alba dei Nuraghi, Colliery, 2005. 